Hey, what's up, YouTube? Another radio video. And I'm back. And tonight, I just received my uh, Mini Whip Active Antenna. Oh, let me shut that off for a minute. Hold on. Let me get booming in here today. Let me lower the volume on this guy. Listen to some CB, CB radio. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, along the way to Mini Whip Antenna, I ordered it uh, about the end of December. This is coming all the way from Russia. And um, the person that uh, made this um, video, I believe his call sign is Romeo Alpha Zero Sierra Mike Sierra. I hope I didn't butcher that up. Anyway, so I paid uh, 39 US dollars for this antenna. Yeah, I mean, I've seen people build it, build it themselves, but, you know, for the figure for $39, and it's, you know, shipping included, is, you know, pretty inexpensive. <clears throat> and this is the, uh, I assume in there, this is the power supply unit for it. This is called the RF isolation transformer. And what you do is you plug in, let me just get down there. You plug this guy to the antenna. And then this goes to the receiver. And this goes to the ground, and ground wire. And then you put the power connector here. And um, I went with this because I saw many reviews on it. On YouTube, I saw some YouTube, uh, some YouTube videos on it. And the problem I'm having is... Uh, Trying to get long wave. <clears throat> or. Actually yeah. Long wave. And also. Even VLF. You know. Being that I live in Yonkers, New York. Right near New York City. It's. Almost. I don't want to say impossible. Nothing is. But. It's pretty hard to get a long wave. Especially when North America. Um, there is not many. I think it's just a few beacons. So. Other than you know. Across the pond in Europe. Um, there's some stations in Europe, but here in North America, we don't have any, any type of station. Just, um, you know, I believe the a time signal and that's below. I don't, my radio is not even capable of that. I think it's below hundred megahertz. I think it's about 60 I, 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 kilohertz. Excuse me. Um, everything else I think is just beacons, stuff like that. So, you know, I, I also bought it because I wanted to improve my shortwave. Uh, reception, you know, just another type of antenna, you know, it's always, yeah, I, I think it's always good to have more than one type of antenna because some conditions, it's crazy sometimes my, the, my 102 inch whip picks up HF pretty good like with almost no, you know, very little, minimal noise and there's days I cannot pick up anything it'll just pick up whatever, you know, the band that is tuned for, which is CB band but it does pick up, you know, HF and I do pick up VHF and UHF on it is it's just you know it's it's I mean it's just, like I said it's tuned for CB so but it does a pretty good job but I you know and I also have a long wire antenna which I'm gonna get rid of that and just get something like a uh what is it a dipole uh probably just you know get buy a ballon and just do it that way you know and because I just have a long wire straight to the radio and that's just just brings too much noise. I mean, then you, and you hear some of the videos. It, it, when there's night side, it comes in no problem, and it's not only propagation, it's noise. It's just noise. Noise is coming right into the basement. When it gets to the basement, it's a lot of noise. So I have to, you know, I'm gonna try to minimize that. I mean, there's a lot of fact. There's a lot of stuff I looked into, like you getting rid of all of my LED light bulbs down here. Um, you know, maybe switching the outlets around. Um. Eventually, I want to separate the computers with the radios and just have maybe my laptop. Let me just move this over here because I'm going to show you something else in a few. And so, it's number one thing is noise. It's just noise. You know, and it's pretty, not, it's not bad down here compared to um, from what I'm running. But there's definitely, there's a lot of, you know, like uh, noise. For example, like uh, right the other room across from me, right next to the other room, I have two um refrigerators 
And so that's got to be bringing a lot of RF noise. R and R. So eventually, like I said, I'm going to rearrange things and I'll probably have a dedicated shack for just, you know, radio, especially DXing, stuff like that. And then I'll just keep a couple of radios here for just regular listening. I have to dedicate a shack for that. I would love to do it in the garage, but the garage is still, it's a lot of work to do in the garage. That's, I probably won't be done with that for another year because it's just a lot of stuff. And then when we moved into this house, we inherited this house. Uh, there was so much crap all over the house. Even the backyard was, you know, it was like a, you know, it was a lot. It's still a lot of work. It's a work in progress, basically. And, you know, it's just me, myself, and I doing all that. So, and I'm trying to do it on the cheap. You know, I could just, yeah, I could, I could rent a dumpster and just hire a couple of guys and just, you know, the whole lot of stuff. But I like to repurpose stuff, too. So I have a lot of, like, two-by-fours and all that. And, you know, they're not in bad shape. So I try to repurpose it. So I finally, you know, put everything. There's always a use for something. I'm not trying to be an environmentalist or anything, but yeah, I, I try to repurpose stuff because it saves money and also, you know, um, it serves a purpose, you know, and I'm not gonna waste stuff. Okay, so this is the VLF, and then I'll give you the specs on it right here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can zoom in here. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's a. Active uh, HF VLF antenna, 10 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz. So it's, um, that's, you know, that's what I want. And um, BNC connectors, of course. And the power connector is a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter connector for the power supply. And this one does not come with the power supply when I purchase it. And people use 9 volt batteries or whatever. Um, I like this to go with this guy. I have a whole bunch of these. I have a, Actually, I have a whole crate full of them. And I keep around, and I already tried it out. I tested it out actually. This is a what nine volt, you know, thousand milliamp. So it's more than sufficient and it fits perfectly. So this is what I'm going to be using to power up this guy. And I already tested it. I actually, you know, plugged this in and then ran the uh, the multimeter and did some test on it. So yeah, pretty good. Get nine volts and. And I have another one, 12 volts, but 9 volts is, for the range here, 9 volts is pretty sufficient for this, so I'll go with that one for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I also bought this guy. I got this a few days ago. This is a power supply. I like it because it has the cigarette uh, lighter thing to it. This is a 5 amp, uh, 5 amp, 3 amp, uh, continuous. Five amp surge, excuse me. I paid twenty four dollars for it, and some website I think is uh, JB Tools. I looked it up. I I because I was looking on eBay and everything else is over about thirty dollars. This is the cheapest one I can find for three three amp with good reviews because uh I really pay attention to reviews. I better pay more money for something that I know is reliable. It's not gonna fail. And um. So yeah, so I went up going with this one. I found a good deal on it, twenty four dollars. It's um, Nippon America. It's not a you know, it's not Pyramid brand or anything like that. But that's the problem. The Pyramid. I read some bad. Pyramids are good. I love Pyramids. It's just for that particular size power supply, there were some issues with it. So I elected to go with this one. And the reason why I got this power supply because I ordered a CB radio, which I wanted to order. I was gonna show it on this screen, but Windows is still updating. You know how that goes with Windows updates. Sometimes it takes forever. It's been running for the past uh half hour now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I went with um I've been eyeing this C B for a long time and I said a few months ago that uh when I buy Discord and 10 and so on, I was gonna use the C B whip, the 102 H whip for C B. So guess what? This is gonna be my new radio. The unit in Bearcat CB radio with sideband and weatherband, 980 SSB. And you can see the reviews. is outstanding reviews. Four and, uh, five, four and a half stars. And this baby is going to be in my rig. And um, 
I, I bought a used one, so I didn't pay the the, the uh, 114. I paid um, $86 for it. I mean, excuse me, $82 with the free shipping. So let me zoom in on that. I'm going to show you. you know. I saw as many videos on this on this um, CB, and people love it. And there's great reviews on it. And when I saw this CB, I, I love the display, and I love the fact that it's sideband. That's what I wanted. I wanted a sideband. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A sideband CB. And it also has weather band, so that's another plus. So I could also, you know, uh, have it in the weather band and just leave it there and track that so I don't have to use it with my scanner. So, yeah, that's my my new one. That's going to come in, um, hopefully. Uh, well, I just got the alert for it's going to be a weather delay on it because of this blizzard we just had in the northeast. So um, that should be coming in hopefully in about a week or so. I say about ten days. So yeah, so that's that's the deal with that. I'm gonna gotta get a new CB radio, and I know I know you uh, amateur operators you frown upon it, but you know I do get a lot of CB activity here in Yonkers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I always wanted one since I was a kid. You know, I, I last time I had a CB radio was when I was a kid. So and I see a CB is kind of making a little comeback. I see people are. I just see a lot of rigs out there, and I'm like, you know what? And I listen to it. I, I listen, especially, like, uh, long distance, like, skip. I, I listen to that, so I'm like, wow, you know? So, of course, I'm not going to be doing no anything like, you know, amplifiers or anything like that. I'm not going to go there because I don't want the uh, FCC banging down my door and taking away my, you no, know, and paying fines, no. This is just for listening, you know? Maybe I, I, I um, right now, for example, it's, uh, 2.35 in the morning. So, for example, I could just probably, you know, fire it up and then just say, you know, see if I can, especially, I, I just want to really for sideband, see if I can get anything. And tennis, if the antenna is too, I heard, you know, with minimal wattage, you can get far, especially with propagation and the right conditions. So that's what I plan to do. And if I get something like that, I'll make videos on there, make a video on it here and there. You know, I'm not going to try to, uh, you know, put a whole bunch of, I see what's going on over here. Kilowatts or anything like that. It's not going to be anything like that. Yeah, you see all that snow. And this camera, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, night vision is not working anymore. So I'm going to have to replace that camera. That's my security camera. And you see, I had some snow. I had to do a lot of plowing a few hours ago. Right now, we're down to, uh, I believe, single digits. I'm trying to hang. It's just pretty cold. It's still windy out there. So, yeah, so that's it right there. That's the mini whip active antenna. <clears throat> and, um, I, and, and also the, uh, this antenna, they recommend not, not to have it hooked up to a steel pole or anything like that. They usually they want a fiberglass or PVC. I'm going to use this with a, have a PVC pipe. I plan to hook this up in the backyard because the fortunately in front in front of my house I have power lines, right overhead power lines. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that there. This this is very sensitive antenna, so they recommend you get it as far away from the house as you can. And uh, I'm gonna try to go with a, maybe about 100 feet, 100 feet of coax. Uh, maybe some suggestions would be nice. Um, I read that RG213 is pretty good. I don't want to go higher than that because that's already expensive. Um, or RG6. I don't want to go uh, RG59 because it's too thin, and and the problem is the noise. Like I said, if I, you know, don't, coming into the in the backyard, I'm gonna try a few things. I saw some a good video. I saw one of, that Greg did was a real nice video about the uh, noise reduction. Uh, with the I like the I like the garden hose idea. I like the, I really like that idea. I have a spare garden hose. I have a hundred feet of old garden hose. I may put my line in there and run it. Just to insulate a little bit, you know. Gonna do some some stuff out there. Because I want this thing to work. I want this thing to be like spot on when I get that um uh lower frequencies. So anyway, enough rambling. Um thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking my videos, and um I'll see you soon. And you guys have a great day and um actually well it's Friday now, so have a great weekend and see you.
Take care. Bye-bye.